Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another USDA video quick tip. How do you qualify for a USDA loan after a recent bankruptcy? In many cases, bankruptcies are not brought on by financial irresponsibility, but instead because of third party traumatic events that may have been out of the applicant's control. Now depending on the circumstances involved, a USDA loan may be a good solution. Now come on, let's get started with the details. USDA credit qualifying guidelines allow for bankruptcies discharged over three years ago. But what happens in cases where that time period is less? In cases when a discharge has been less than three years ago, exceptions are available, but the following will need to be reviewed and approved. Was the activity temporary in nature? What was the reason for the situation? Was it death of a spouse? Job transfer or relocation? Possibly a medical hardship for the borrower or family member? Further evidence may need to be provided, such as letters of explanation from the borrower detailing the circumstances. Was it temporary in nature and not likely to be repeated? Any relevant medical reports? Court documents? Transfer or employment paperwork? Another underwriting factor to be considered is the type of bankruptcy. Was it a Chapter 7 or 13? Credit scores will contribute greatly towards underwriting approval. Higher scores give more flexibility with automated approvals and underwriter discretion. Lower scores can still be possible, but could require the need for additional documentation and possibly a more stringent review with manual underwriting guidelines. Please remember, all loans are case-by-case -case scenarios, and a specific score does not guarantee approval and minimum credit conditions will apply. Strong compensating factors are able to contribute towards loan approval. Examples of this would be low debt ratios, stable job time, usually considered two years or greater while on the same job, liquid reserves, such as checking, savings, or 401k, verifiable rental history with no late payments. As you can imagine, due to the extra documentation required, Many lenders and loan officers are not familiar with how to navigate this type of situation. If you already have an existing pre-qualification, or maybe have been just recently denied, please take advantage of our free second opinion service to see if our expertise can help you get back on the home buying track. This is a great way to double check your options for both existing pre-qualifications or if you need to review a current transaction experiencing financing difficulties. Just call or email to discuss your scenario and let us show you the Metroplex difference. And remember, we are known for returning calls, replying to your emails, and responding to voicemails. If you've not yet done so, please download our free USDA Blueprint for Success with the link below. This is a great tool for both home buyers and realtors alike. I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.